Well, I hate to do this because my channel is not about politics, but I kind of have uh, no choice in the matter right here. I got a uh, public service announcement right here, and it's dated 5 January 15, 2016. And, um... Why I'm doing it is um, it's kind of it's kind of weird. It's kind of shady. First they say communique is dated the 15th January, okay, and we're 21st, and the operations they're gonna be starting the 22nd, which is tomorrow. So pretty much they say in, in, in uh, throughout the weekend they're gonna be uh, military maneuvers and combat uh, and with scenarios and all that stuff, and they're gonna be firing blanks. And pyrotechnics such as a uh, smoke bomb and all the likes. Okay, they say the sites are pretty insula isolated, but in my case, it's pretty much my backyard. Um, so, um, they warn the population to be aware there'll be a movement of uh, military vehicles, there'll be maneuvers and uh, on foot and both on foot and in vehicles. And um, and they said they, they they took the uh, the man the. Uh, measure necessary to minimize the impact on population and environment but they do they do uh, keep you aware that a uh, firearm discharge will be heard sporadically and throughout the night so I'll be a, I'll be a nice uh, nice good sleep so yeah they, they pretty much a uh, point blank here military exercise in urban environment so it's military on uh, civil ground which is a uh, pretty much illegal so uh, this is gonna do it anyways I mean no no need to to ask the population about it we're just gonna send you a letter put it late in the mailbox you don't have anything to say before we do it and you can't raise hell through uh, various media because it's already too late so uh, I don't know I I'm just guessing right here because this is <laughs> defense national defense that's uh, that's what I uh, what I get out of this you send it late, even though we just put it in the mail like this. You send it late, and you say we're gonna we're gonna go ahead. We uh, we don't we take you for granted basically. And the second thing, which raises another flag. So let's let's have a look at the website now. Uh, the website they uh, so kindly uh, provided for me. So I went there. It redirects you to armedforce.qc.ca. And, um, yeah, so, you can look down here, there's no, uh, no email address, no post either, it's not the same information, okay, and there's no email address, but that's not why I'm here, I'm here to enter the communique, because if there's a communique with a number, it means it's somewhere in the paperwork. So QC thirty four GBC zero zero one dash sixteen. No results. So that's the second red flag. First red flag, the date. Second red flag. There's nothing on the website. So yeah, I can't even link you that. Because that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to go in there and uh, get it in English so you can read it and be all nice and dandy. But uh, no, it's not there. It doesn't exist. So I guess uh, you could always, uh, you could probably get it some other ways. But I mean, that's what websites are for is to put all the information there so people don't have to call you. Because I bet if you call them, it's going to be a long day. So that's my update for you guys. Uh, sorry again for uh, political videos, but I thought that was shady. And uh, the more I looked into it, the shadier it got. So, yeah. If you find it on a website, please let me know. I'd really like to see it on a website. Because this is... It was just a bit of a paper, just folded like that. So they pretty much crunch it up like that and then they shoved it in the mailbox and say to hell we're uh I ain't gonna bother with a with nice envelope or uh, or anything they're just gonna shove it there and shove it uh, there uh one week late pretty much <laughs> so yeah so I guess I'm not getting sleep tonight so that's what it means thank you for letting me know in advance
that's all it is to it. So, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, sorry for this, but kind of necessary to uh, let people know. So, thank you, Canada, who takes 17 billion dollars for the defense and still don't got enough training ground, they have to use our streets and our backyards to run training exercise on public ground illegally. So thank you, the same government and the same defense, the National Defense Department, which lost 3.1 billion dollars during the Harper time that they can't even account for. So yeah, thank you. And I'm glad I'm paying a shitload of taxes to finance wars and all kind of stuff I never agreed on. Thank you for being a democracy, Canada.